My parents were the original participants. This was 70 years ago. It's hard to believe it's that long. I was like nine years old, I guess, when my mother and father volunteered because they were looking for people in Framingham. It is very unique. It is an ongoing program, if you want to call it as such, that started 70 years ago with a group of Framingham residents. I think there were a little over 5,000. I know when I tell people when I've gone to the Hartstead, I said it's just a program you're going to wish you were in. I speak very highly of it, and I don't know how you could improve on what they're doing. I think it's just fantastic. I am from the offspring generation, and then there is a generation after, which um, my children are in. And I'm an offspring, so I've been going for years, too. I wasn't even sure that, be, that people would be interested, but my mother and father felt it was very important, and that's why I started going myself. Um, and of course, now it's world-renowned. I mean, Everybody knows about the heart study, and, and they'll say, oh, you're lucky, you're in it. I was asked whether I would like to join um, because I was of a certain ethnicity. I'm Cuban, and my good friend Emily said, oh, it's, we're opening up the heart study, and would you like to join? And I said, of course, I would love to. I thought it was going to be maybe um, five or six years and then we'd have to see my peer route or something. I never thought it would get this big. Because it's such an historic and groundbreaking study, I wanted to contribute my data to the overall good of the study. And everyone relies on the heart study for so much information. I think it has brought out so many good things that it's unbelievable. Um, when I first joined, I just thought, well, maybe they're comparing generations to see what the difference is, uh, if there were any advances. But I never dreamed it would be such an impact as it has been. Well, the, the heart study has been growing almost geometrically as a resource. As more studies are done, more data and images and information is collected. So the challenge is how to use all the new data and the old data uh, in a timely manner with the highest standards. Uh, and resources don't usually grow at the same rate, so that's been the main challenge, but it's a good, good one. And I think it is so true that the Framingham Heart Study is known not just in New Hampshire here, but in California, Oregon, Washington, Texas. It's known throughout the world. It's, it's amazing how much information has been gathered and evidently the results have been so, you know, fruitful for the medical 
profession and for the generations that they've helped that uh, it's gone on and gone on and gone on. I enjoy the people immensely. I, I think they're just wonderful and they're so dedicated and it makes me want to stay with the program because they've advanced so much through the years and all the knowledge that they have gained, um, we are, as the participants, have also gained. It's just wonderful. They've learned so much over the years and it's just helped the medical profession immensely. They're just great people down there. They, there is no better and they are part of my family as far as I am concerned. We've had physicals and medicals and tests and, you know, uh, vocabulary and, uh, I mean, it really is amazing. It's a full physical. It's just about every part of your body. I think as far as heart disease, the study has just, it, you can live for years and years and years now with heart disease. I mean, my husband has had heart disease since he was probably in his 30s, right? You oh, were yes. young. You know, you thought of it at that particular time as just a little local, you know, uh, situation. And all of a sudden, a few years later, someone said, oh, you're part of the Framingham study. And, uh, and then many, many years later, uh, when our, you know, children were uh, involved and invited in to uh, participate, you realize, you know, what a valuable, valuable tool you have. But uh, it's not only the heart study, the sleep study they had. I once slept for, I think, a week with all these wires on me, and it just brought out more things that they are doing. Never ever did I think of leaving the study. Um, what keeps me coming back is knowing how great the study is and all the progress they've made through the years, and I'm really excited and proud to be a member. We never thought about leaving. We're very, very happy to be uh, involved in it and hope to be for a long time. As for myself, I'm jumping ahead of you. That's fine. Uh, no, I would not consider leaving at all. I think a couple of times I thought of leaving, and it's probably because my health was going down a little bit and maybe I was a little embarrassed. I never did because I knew my mother would say, Susie, you don't leave that study, so. The staff is wonderful. They're very well organized, so when you get here, you're not waiting for your turn, let's say. Everything is in line and ready to go. And I just feel like one day out of five years of my life, I can donate my time and efforts to the overall study. The legacy of the heart study will be its contribution to advancements in uh, medical research. Started with cardiovascular disease, we now study bone disorders and um, cognitive disorders, uh, brain function, Alzheimer's disease. As the data accumulates and the imaging accumulates, there are more and more ways to make connections, even social network connections, how people affect each other, their health. It becomes almost mind-boggling. The data of the Framingham Heart Study is very structured, it's clean, it's well curated, and it's very dense. We have over 15,000 participants over the years, but we do our scanning and our techniques in a very standardized, careful way so that the data can be compared easily. We, we don't have patients, we are not healthcare providers, we are observers, and we do those observations very carefully. So this data, which grows and grows, becomes more and more valuable 
with all the crisscross ways that uh, statistical analysis and uh, analyzers can look at the data and make new connections.